Hey guys, um, it's been a while, and as you see here, it's a different car. So yeah, um, I'm not doing YouTube again. I've kind of more or less retired. I mean, I'll still do a video like occasionally. He's you know I'm busy with school and relationships and just what else. You know, my time's kind of divided. I need to get my quad fixed. I haven't ridden it for a while, so I'm kind of busy. And YouTube really wasn't paying me like what work pays, so. Yeah, I've more or less retired, but you can see a video here and there, just at random. So today, you see a Cadillac right here. I've never seen this in uh, my videos before. I have to keep fob for it. That's because it's my Cadillac. I bought this off my dad. He got this in auction real cheap. He drove it around for like 50,000 miles. Sold it to me for real cheap. I sold the PT, of course, to get it. I still have the truck. It's still, you know, same old, same old. I haven't done anything to it since you watched the last videos. But uh, yeah, this car is actually pretty nice. So I just figured I'd make a video on it. Sorry, I'm kind of awkward. I haven't done YouTube for a while. As you can see, I got 15% tint on the side windows. These exhausts aren't a troll dull exhaust, but they just kind of come out the two exhausts. It kind of looks pretty nice. I don't know. I think I'm going to get some Flowmasters over the summer once I save up some money just to kind of you know, loud up a little, maybe make a few horsepower. Nothing major. Might get some new exhaust tips too, something a little bit wider, something a little bit more aggressive. And as for right now, those are pretty decent. Don't want to attract too much attention to the car, so I'm just going to leave the tint where it is. But, uh, yeah, the interior, it's a little bit messy. I'm actually going to detail it inside, maybe shop back it sometime this week. Yeah. I mean, this is fake wood trim right here, but the door is all leather. The steering wheel is leather. Some of the dash panels are leather. It's got a sunroof, as you can see right here. Okay, I need to clean it. It's filthy. At least for my standards, but... Let's see. When you want to, you can close that out. With the tent and everything. At night, turn on. Turn off all the lights. Get pretty dark in the back seat. So it's like a nice executive car. Front and rear defrosters. Has traction control, ABS stability control. None of which the PT had. Now... I don't know, it's kind of good for this car, this car specifically, it's really good, but it's an automatic, but, um, I don't know, I kind of do miss shifting my own gears, but I have a motorcycle that I'm going to restore, I have the, the quad, of course, which is, you know, a five-speed with full hand clutch and everything, so I can still shift my own gears, I guess it's more fun to do that with, like, motorcycles and quads, you know, stuff like that. But in the meantime, my daily car, I think it will miss shifting gears, but this car is so much faster, especially off the line. Not having to slip a clutch or anything, just left foot brake, right foot on the gas, build the RPMs up a little, just dump the brake, floor it, it goes. Like, it's kind of insane how fast this is for an old man's car from 2003, but power everything. Front seats are power, front and rear seats are heated, of course, are leather. Um, steering wheel controls, which actually work. Volume. Um, so channel select. I don't have OnStar hooked up to my phone. I'd have to pay extra a month for it. It's just easier for me to use like an FM transmitter or just pick up my phone. If I want to, like an FM transmitter, use Bluetooth into that and just talk into my phone. It comes out through your 11 speaker sound system from Bose, which is pretty nice. This radio for right now has XM because my dad has XM and he just pays for a full year subscription. So it has a few months left on it. I may or may not continue it. It's like nine, ten bucks a month to continue. Nothing too major, but I don't know. I might just be good with radio and, of course, CDs and Bluetooth music. Um, dual zone climate control. It's kind of crude how it works. You could just push up or down. So it's just, excuse me, but, but uh, it's just kind of crude. Like you can make it hotter or colder than what the driver sets, but the driver you can actually set your specific temperature like right now it's at 66 degrees and of course you have like all the info buttons and everything for your average fuel economy which this car does have a v8 so that can be depressing if you're doing any pulls um trip resets and everything if you make a trip in a cannon instead of like having to read the small numbers on a gauge you could just switch it over to kilometers that's pretty neat um trunk release fuel door release don't know what that button is actually. I think that's a everything reset. Twilight set and all. I don't play with that. I just leave the lights on automatic. Um, driver presets. I still have to figure out these. 
for like the mirrors and the seat adjustment. Um, yeah, um, seat heaters. It's not just turn on the seat. You could also like make it back only, or you could do seat and back. Child locks for the rear windows. These are all power down. These are power up and down. These are just power down. And of course, your single door lock. And of course, you, know, you can do that on the key too. Um, this car has airbags all over the place, so it's actually very safe. It's pretty wide. It's a little bit heavy for its tires, in my opinion, but it's not bad. And as you'll see, this car is pretty fucking quiet. <laughs> like. Yeah, it's quiet. My average fuel economy, I drove down to see my girlfriend in West Virginia and back. Um, 22 miles a gallon. Here, I'll take it down the road. Let you guys see what this car is all about, but it's actually here. I'll open the sunroof here. I like the sunroof. I'm not gonna open open it, just you know. I turn off the instant eco, I just put it on the tack. You see that little tack around the bottom? Because let me tell you, it's depressing. Alright, this person needs to fucking go. Like two minutes ago. Come on. People always drive slow when you're trying to back out of some place. You gotta wait like ten eons, but Yeah, 4T80 Auto Trans. This trans is pretty good. Um the one sealed by the axle, um, the seal is kind of bad, so it leaks a little bit of train fluid. Not when it's under you, it's just like when it sits because it's the dry something, but uh, I don't know. The dad's garage has a lift, and so me and him, when the weather gets warm, he's gonna go order parts off Rock Auto because he has a shop discount because he still like has the license name for his old business. I was paying back for the parts, and we'll just take a weekend. And they have like a rebuild kit where you get like a new axle seal and everything, and he read up about it. So like I said, I got this car off of him, and now he has a new Cadillac, a 2009 CTS4. So it's kind of nice, you know, knowing the history of the car. Like, knowing the previous owner, knowing how he took care of it. And he never detailed it. He kind of was a little bit messy in it. But, um, like, mechanically, keeps his cars really good. You know, I'll do a little pull, just like 60. That was like up a kind of steep hill too. It's normally faster, but because the hill was kind of steep there, it was a little bit sluggish, but this car doesn't pick up bad, trust me. Like last night I raced a 2003 to 2006. It was a cat eye. It was a, you know, Chevy 1500, 5.3. It was a 5.3, could have been a 4.8, but I'm guessing because he had the balls to race up against me, it's probably a 5.3. Definitely had an exhaust. I think it was loud. Or he just cut the mufflers off. It was insanely loud. But that's probably all it was done to it. His tires don't look like they were any bigger than 35. So it's not like it was hyper lifted. Pulls up to the light next to me and revs. It's like, well, shit, I got to give this a go. I just um, do a two foot launch. And by 45 mile an hour, I had a bus length on him. And he was trying too. Like, I could hear him wide open throttle. He just couldn't catch me. Like, it's an old man's car, but it's actually kind of fast. It's not like fast, fast. Like, I'm not gonna race BMW M5s or anything, or Camaros or Corvettes. Nothing like actually fast, but for what this car is, it's pretty quick. Especially for when it came out in 2003. Because you figure right now, like my PT Cruiser, I could only beat like some of like the lower horsepower crossovers that just came out. Whereas this could smoke all of them. I'm sure you got your BMWs, you got your Range Rovers, stuff like that that are coming out on um, that Ford Edge ST, like that, that'll smoke this or run with it. But as far as like your average cars coming out, like even today in 2019, this smokes them all. Like just the Cadillac just gets it done. This is gonna hurt my fuel economy, something fierce, but. Yeah, she moves. She moves pretty good, actually. 
So yeah, this is my 03 DeVille. It's my new daily. So now I have two V8s, a Ford and the GM. I had a Chrysler, so I, I had the big three, just not all at the same time. And then of course, you know, I have a Japanese motorcycle, it's a Suzuki, a GS400. Then I have that 300EX. You guys who watch my channel know all about that. You know, that's also Japanese. That's a Honda. So I'm just getting everything, I guess. Probably someday I'll own something German, but... Yeah, for right now, this is not a bad car. Like, forget me for college and everything. Like, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll run this one into the ground. I don't plan on selling this anytime soon. Yeah. I have new windshield wipers. And they're very grippy. <laughs> so when the windshield's not, like, wet, wet, you just have a drop on it. It, it sucks. And, well, I don't get paid from YouTube anymore, so I guess I could turn up the volume, show you this beloved speaker sound system. That's nowhere near full volume. So yeah, <laughs> not a bad car, all in all. Oh, also, this window right here, it adjusts. Like, someone has their high beams on behind you, after a little bit, like, it adjusts and dims it. It's like an auto-dimming mirror. And the OnStar on this, like, I can hit it and, like, get 911 calls, but that's it. It's not linked to my phone. I don't feel like paying that kind of money for that yet. Especially with Bluetooth and, you know what I mean, I'll just pick up the phone. I'm not going to spend $120 a year for that. Especially because I only drive not even 15,000 miles a year. My PT, I was only averaging like 11,000 miles a year on. The whole month of February off. So yeah, got traffic up here, but uh, yeah, this is the car. Hope you guys like it.